Um, the strand I've been working on is the area of learning experience for health and wellbeing and obviously as a, um, a pastoral lead within the school I have an experience base of 13 years of leading wellbeing within the setting. So this um, been involvement within the strand has been a perfect opportunity to refine our ex existing practice but also share that best practice with other settings as well through the Pioneer Networks. It's been a chance for me as a practitioner to spend some time um, reflecting and critically engaging with sort of research so we spent time looking at the OECD models and um, we've spent time looking at sort of the four dimensions of learning, looking at the characteristics of a learner. So that engagement with research has been imperative really for shaping our curriculum. We've had a strong partnership with a network of healthy schools through public health and obviously that sort of um, initiative is in schools at the moment but it's primarily a hidden part of the curriculum so it's been a great opportunity for us to fuse our thinking and put those sort of strategies in place. At the moment we're trying to fuse PSE in effect with PE uh, and of course there has been a need to sort of strip back um, the layers and sort of focus on specific health and wellbeing issues and there, there is going to be a point now where we're going to need to speak to the other areas of learning experience to decide what is specifically related to health and wellbeing and what might come as sort of in partnership and need to be intrinsically linked with the other areas. The most productive part has been professional dialogues with other colleagues to look at things um, from the wider spectrum and definitely engagement with critical and critically engaging with research. Um, as a member of the EAS I've been involved with a critical collaborative professional inquiry with a member of the expert panel from, with Mark Priestley and that's been imperative really to inform the design process. Next steps for Strand 3 I think is that we have um, identified areas within the group that we've sort of got limited specialism so we would be drawing in experts that could support us with that um, sort of role and also it's continuing to work in close partnership with public health and um, for example we've got somebody that's involved with the physical literacy journey and also it's just drawing in that expertise into the design process as we move into Strand 3 which is going to be populating the area of learning and putting in the actual content.